Maya was starting her first day at a new school and her tummy was full of butterflies. She gazed around the bustling playground, but everyone seemed to be busy laughing and chatting with their friends. Maya felt like an outsider in a sea of giggles. With a hesitant sigh, she sat on a wooden bench, clutching her lunchbox tightly. Suddenly, a cheerful voice interrupted her thoughts. Hi there, wanna play? Maya looked up to see a friendly face framed by curls, belonging to a girl named Zoe, who held out a bright red jump rope. Maya's heart lifted, and a smile spread across her face. Sure, she replied, standing up with newfound courage. As they skipped and laughed under the sun, sharing stories about their favorite cartoons and snacks, Maya's nervousness began to melt away like ice cream on a hot day. Zoe was funny and kind, and soon the two were leaping and bouncing together as if they had been friends forever. By the end of recess, Maya felt as though she discovered a new part of herself, a more confident part. The whispers of loneliness faded, leaving behind the music of friendship. After that day, Maya and Zoe became inseparable, their bond growing stronger with each shared lunchtime and game of hopscotch. Maya realized that friendship could be found in the most unexpected places, so long as you have a little bravery and a lot of kindness. Every morning on her way to school, Maya's heart no longer felt heavy with worry, but light with the anticipation of another adventure with her new best friend. Sophie and Grace had been best friends since preschool, sharing laughter, secrets, and dreams. They had a favorite spot under a big oak tree in the park where they'd spend countless afternoons imagining grand adventures. But one rainy afternoon, something unexpected happened. It started with a silly misunderstanding over who was supposed to bring the snacks for their picnic. Words flew, eyes welled up, and in no time, they found themselves in a heated argument. Disappointed and hurt, both Sophie and Grace stomped home, ignoring the raindrops that seemed to mimic their growing sadness. That night, as Sophie lay in bed, she couldn't shake off the guilt gnawing at her heart. She missed Grace terribly. Meanwhile, Grace felt the same, finding that the house seemed much quieter without Sophie's laughter. Determined to make things right, Sophie picked up the phone and dialed Grace's number. After a few rings, she heard Grace's soft voice. They both started talking at the same time, stuttering apologies, then pausing to let each other speak. It wasn't long before they were laughing, their voices tangled in giggles. The next day, they met at the park under their beloved oak tree. The ground was still a bit damp from the rain, but neither of them cared. Feeling a bit sheepish but happy, they linked pinkies and made a vow. We'll always talk things out, Sophie declared. Grace nodded, adding, friends forever. One day, Sarah and Mia were walking home from school when they found a lost puppy on the side of the road. It was shivering and scared, so they decided to help. They took turns carrying the puppy and brought it to Sarah's house. Together, they made posters and handed them out around the neighborhood. A few days later, the puppy's owner was found. Although they were sad to say goodbye, Sarah and Mia knew their teamwork had made a difference, and they were proud of it.